Brazil is a densely populated country from the continent of South America. It ranks fifth in the world in terms of area, location, extent, and boundaries. Brazil extends between 5 degrees 15 minutes north and 33 degrees 45 minutes south latitudes and between 34 degrees 45 minutes west and 73 degrees 48 minutes west longitudes. See color map and list the oceans and countries along the boundaries of this nation. North Atlantic Ocean and South Atlantic Ocean are the oceans along the boundaries of this nation. Let us now study about physiography. In terms of physiography, the country can be divided into two parts, the Amazon Basin and the Brazilian Plateau. See color map. The Amazon River rises in the Andes Mountains. It flows towards the east and meets the Atlantic Ocean. The alluvium brought by the Amazon and its tributaries has given rise to a vast flat plain in the northern part of Brazil. A large island called Marajo is formed at the mouth of the Amazon. It is surrounded by fresh water. River Parana and Paragüe originate in the Brazilian plateau and flow towards the south. Guiana Highlands are located to the north of the Amazon basin. The highest peak in Brazil is Pico da Neblina and its height is 3014 meters. Brazil Plateau is located in the southeastern part of the country. Its height is around 2000 meter above sea level. Clear white sand is characteristic of the southeastern coast of Brazil. Let us learn about climate. The country is located in the tropics. The equator passes through the northern part of the country. In the Amazon basin, the mean temperature is around 25 degrees Celsius. The climate is cool in the plateau region. Due to the nearness to the sea, summers are mild and humid in the coastal region and winters are dry. The Amazon basin has a rainfall between 1000 and 2000 millimeters, whereas it is 1000 millimeters in the southeastern coastal areas. Now let us begin with the natural resources. Vegetation. Due to abundant sunlight and sufficient rainfall, we see evergreen equatorial forests in the Amazon basin. These are called selvas. The trees in these forests are broad leaf and evergreen. The tree density is so high that the trees have to compete in order to get sunlight. In the process, these trees grow very tall. Some trees are as tall as 90 meters. Sunlight does not reach the ground as branches of the trees block its penetration. Therefore, it is dark in the lower portions of the forest. As a result, one finds only parasite plants in this zone. Some trees in these forests are poisonous. Tribal people used to apply the juice of such trees to the arrowheads for hunting. The rubber plant is a native of this basin. Rubber, mahogany, rosewood, etc. trees are found in these forests. There are as many as 40,000 species of orchids in these forests. Some of the plants of this group bear a single but large flower. Hardwood of trees, marshes, unhealthy and sickly climate Innumerable insects, lack of transport routes, etc. were the factors due to which commercial utilization of the forest had some limitations. Even the human settlements are few and far between in this area. In order to overcome these problems, the government has constructed roads and railways in this area. Grass is the main plant of savanna region. On the coast, Palm trees are commonly seen. Let us learn more about Brazil's animals and birds. The forests of Amazon Basin are the natural habitat of a variety of animals and birds. Jaguar, anteater, anaconda python, different types of monkeys, 
colorful butterflies, etc., are found here. The forests are lively and swarming with a variety of singing birds and charming parrots of different colors. Let us now study about minerals. In eastern Brazil, different type of minerals are found. Iron ore, manganese, nickel, copper, bauxite, tungsten, diamonds, etc. are the main minerals found here. Incomplete mineral exploration, problems of transport, costly energy resources, etc. are the factors because of which large-scale mineral production is not possible. However, the demand for mineral resources is increasing and it has accelerated the mining activity on the plateau. The availability of mineral resources has speeded up the pace of economic development of the country. Let us learn about agriculture. Agriculture is the main occupation of people from the plateau region. Coffee, cocoa, rubber, tobacco, cotton, sugarcane are cultivated on a commercial basis. There are large plantations of fruit crops like pineapple, banana, oranges and other citrus fruits. Coffee is produced in states like Sao Paulo and Minas Gerais. Cocoa is the other important crop. About 95% of cocoa is produced in the Bahia province in the east. Brazil stands second, next only to the USA in the production of banana and oranges. This country leads the world in the production of coffee, cocoa and rubber. Lacks of cattle, sheep and goats are reared in the savanna grassland located in the south. As a result, meat and dairy products are abundant. Let us learn about fisheries. Fishing is practiced on a large scale along the Atlantic coast. Efforts are being made to develop fisheries by exploring new markets and building modern fishing vessels, sardine, piranha and other fish as well as lobster, shellfish, etc. are found here. Now let us learn about industries. In Brazil, automobile, electrical equipment, cement and other factories are located near major cities. Similarly, food processing, sugar, cotton textile, silk and wool textile industries have also developed here. Let us begin with the transport and communication. A network of roads, railways and airways has developed on the eastern coastal region. A number of rail routes have been constructed around Sao Paulo that connects the coffee plantations. Dense forests, deep valleys, waterfalls added with the number of crocodiles and hippos had previously limited the use of the Amazon course for water transport. However, after the construction of a highway linking Brazil and Peru, the transport in this area has become easy. The rail routes Rio de Janeiro to Belo Horizonte and Rio de Janeiro to Brasilia are important trade routes. Moreover, a road that runs parallel to the river Amazon is being constructed to its north. Let us study about trade. See this figure. The agricultural products have a major share in the export list of Brazil. It is a leading country in the world so far as the export of coffee and cocoa are concerned. Besides these, cotton, sugar, tobacco, oranges, banana and iron ore are also exported. Machinery, mineral oil, lubricants, chemical products, fertilizers, heavy vehicles, wheat, etc. are the items from the import list. Argentina, Canada, France, Germany, Italy, Saudi Arabia and USA are the major trading partners of Brazil. Let us learn about tourism. The coast with clean and white sand, different islands with high scenic beauty, fruit plantations, forests from Amazon basin, a variety of birds 
are the items of tourist attraction. Every year, tourists visit this country in large numbers. As a result, the tourism industry has assumed greater importance. Brasilia, the new capital of Brazil, has also become a center of tourist attraction. Let us see Brazil's human life. Portuguese is the language and Christianity is the religion of the people. Ladies use colorful long skirts and blouses, whereas men wear shirts and trousers. The normal attire of the Gocho people engaged in animal rearing includes a poncho, baggy trousers and a hat. The diet of average Brazilian includes wheat bread meat, cassava, fish, vegetables, fruits, etc. Coffee and strong tea called mate are the preferred beverages of these people. Carnival is the popular festival. At this time, processions with decorative floats are arranged. Programs of rock and samba dance and music are organized during carnivals. Soccer, football is the popular game. Let us learn about major cities of Brazil's. 1. Brasilia This is the new capital of the country. It is a well-planned city and is considered to be an excellent example of architecture. A V-shaped lake surrounds the administrative building. The presidential residence is located on the shore of this lake. The Supreme Court is also located there. 2. Sao Paulo This is an excellent harbour city with dense population. The Butantan Institute, located in the city, produces an effective vaccine against snake bites and provides it to other nations. 3. Rio de Janeiro This is a good harbour and a trade centre. This was the earlier capital of Brazil. The first World Summit on Environment was held here in the year 1992.